If you're a man and you do not recognize this basic fundamental truth of life, you're Look, we know that men and women are fundamentally different. Somehow this has become like controversial to say recently, even though I think thanks to people like Jordan Peterson, Andrew Tate, I've seen it on more mainstream media spots like Piers Morgan, more people are being reminded of this fact and accepting it. But among the many different differences between genders, you know, women start puberty earlier, their bodies start to develop earlier, and they also tend to be valued by society for things like their beauty, their youthfulness, their innocence. Men, on the other hand, we tend to be more valued for things like our strength, our success, our courage. And these are all things that are earned. You know, a woman's innocence and her beauty, those are just given to her. She doesn't have to put in work to get those. Obviously, this is a bit of an oversimplification. There can be women who put in hard work to earn their success or, you know, level up their bodies through hard work in the gym. There can be men who are born with daddy's money or who are born with good looks and their life's a bit easier. But on average, if you're a decent looking or an above average looking female, you're going to be able to get through life comfortably without having to put in hard work. If you're a man, your success must be earned. And I used to think that this sucked so bad. It's not fair, bro. Right? Like I used to just wish that I could have an easy life where I had a basic salary job. I could come home after work, play some video games, maybe play some sports, just have a, a cool girlfriend to hang out with and be comfortable with. Like I would literally get home from work, lay on the floor, stare at the ceiling just like wishing that a cool girl would walk into my life and complete me and i wouldn't have to do any hard work to make it happen now i know at first this seems kind of like bad news if you're a dude but sneaky it's kind of good news because all the things that we're valued for our grit our determination you know our, our discipline all these things are earned that means that there's no expiration date on when we can become successful if you're a woman you start to get you know 30 mid 30s late 30s your looks start to deteriorate well now your value your social value also starts to deteriorate there's a, a time limit on that for men there's no time limit we can put our head down grind fail be rejected, be awkward, be ugly. And we can be like that for all of our 20s, even all of our 30s. And there's still time to, to rise above and become successful. Like there's plenty of ugly dudes out there who've grinded up their wealth, have a beautiful woman and have become successful even if it's a bit later in their life. And at some point it hit me that this is actually like very empowering for us men. This should be like a freeing sensation because it means we get to, to build in darkness. We get to go dark, build our life up over the years. And then later, like we know that the fruits will eventually come. And that's probably my only real regret in life is that I didn't start building earlier, you know, through high school, through college, even just after college, I was just trying to live a comfortable life. Like I said, trying to do minimal homework, just enjoy my time. But once I I got to be like 23 or 24, I got lost in that build phase. I started devouring self-improvement books. I was reading them. I was listening to the audiobooks from, you know, Tony Robbins, Mark Manson, Robert Greene. I was consuming as much knowledge and information as I could. That's also when I decided it was time to stop being a little bitch and start talking to women. I had been so afraid my whole life of rejection, I barely did it. Then I met, you know, several friends like the homie Dave and some other guys in Boston. We'd go out together and, and approach girls at night during the day we'd face that fear over and over and over again until we did not care about rejection i quit my first career job as a software engineer became a personal trainer then i started howtobeast.com which was a, a written blog at the time and started sharing you know my, my different trials and tribulations i started training in krav maga for years which is like an israeli self-defense martial art then after that i got into muay thai i wanted to truly be confident in case shit hit the fan that i'd be ready to deal with actual combat i was trying to find every last corner of weakness in my brain and, and face it head on. I used to be an extremely scrawny, skinny dude. So I started putting work in the gym. I started eating more food and year over year, my body started to improve. I started to build muscle, feel more confident in my body. I call this the build phase. And the more you get lost in the build phase, the better. I was completely lost. I wanted to wake up every day and challenge myself to grow as a man. I didn't care about the fruits. I didn't care about immediately having a, a hot girlfriend or an expensive car or a bunch of money in the bank. I just wanted to fucking build. Now, the good news is there is at least one thing that's going to make your life a lot easier as a man, and that would be using Tiege Hanley, the sponsor of today's video. So let's keep it real. When a girl sees you, what's the first thing she looks at? Well, it's obviously your face, bro, right? And that's why it's crucial to have an optimal skincare routine. And that's exactly what Tiege Hanley brings to the table. Y'all know I've been using Tiege Hanley for years, and that's because it just makes my skincare routine so un complicated. Basically how it works is when you sign up, you're going to get a box like this that contains a variety of different creams and lotions that have been formulated to work together as a system to give you clear, healthy skin that's going to make you look more attractive 
and that's gonna boost your confidence. I'd recommend starting with their level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20, and a PM moisturizer for nighttime. And to make it dead simple for guys like us, it also comes with this simple instruction card that tells you exactly when and how much of each product to use. And don't just take my word for it, they have over 5,000 five-star reviews from customers across the globe. And because T. Shanley is sponsoring today's video, they're hooking up my viewers with an amazing deal. If you click that first link down in the description, you're gonna get 30% off your first box of T. Shanley and they're gonna throw in a free gift. Do not sleep on this offer. Click that link and get started today. And this is the mindset switch. Like this is the flip you have to switch in your brain if you wanna become a successful man, if you were not given that silver spoon, if you were not given those perfect looks. You need to flip this switch and actually start to enjoy the struggle, enjoy the hard work, enjoy the grind, because that's where we forge our identities of who we are. That's where we build a, a library of wins, a library of losses as well, but where we build this whole library of experiences in our head that give us actual confidence. Because that's what real confidence is. It's when you trust that you'll be able to handle future challenges that come your way. If you're trying to hype yourself up and do different confidence hacks, yeah, in the moment you might feel a little bit better, but the only time you're gonna be truly confident as a man is when you can look back and say, I overcame my fear of talking to girls. You know, I was able to, to, to build my own business or to get a promotion in my career. I've put the work in the gym. I've learned how to fight. I know that I have the, the evidence. I don't have to trick myself anymore. I'm confident. And again, the beautiful news is that 20 years old is not too late. I thought when I graduated college and no longer was I surrounded by hot women that it was gonna be too late for me to have success with girls. 20 is not too late. 30 is not too late. 40 is not even too late as a man. Like I started uploading on this YouTube channel when I was 27 years old. And the funny thing is most guys I meet in the YouTube game, they're younger or they got started at 21 or 22. Or right now, you know, they're, they're 22 and they're like, I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to make this work. And I'm like, bro, I didn't even start YouTube till I was 27. You got more time on your hands than you can believe. Like when I was 22 years old, I was still a insecure little jerk off who didn't know what I wanted to do with my life except just be comfortable. And when it comes to women, the beautiful thing is that women prefer dating older men because again, they value the courage the confidence, the success. And those are things that we start to finally realize as we get into our, you know, usually later 20s and early 30s. And that's another thing. I was bitter that like the girls who were my age were more interested in the older, more successful men. Bro, there's nothing to be bitter about. That's the reality of the world. And you will reap those benefits, assuming you put in the work once you get a few years older. Like being a man is a gift that is presented as a curse it seems like it sucks that we have to put in this work and that's the mindset shift we have to make we have to be thankful for the struggles thankful for the pain thankful for the failures because the men who persist and they keep trying to build even though their life sucks and they're failing and losing those are the men who eventually win and they don't just win they win big they get the attractive girl they get all the money they get to live the lifestyle they want most men don't make it that far though because we fall into the 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 lust for a comfortable life too early on before we've earned it and that's when we end up taking some job that allows us to pay the bills but it doesn't really have much of a ceiling for growth that's when we start dating the girl who's yeah she's she's all right but she's not everything we've ever dreamed of that's when we decide just to settle down in the town we grew up or the city we grew up because it's the path of least resistance. Like from the time I started my self-improvement journey when I was 22 to the time I was 27, that was five years of hard work and failures and pain. And I didn't have anything to show for it. Yeah, I had started to hook up with some girls here and there. I had two failed relationships. I hadn't built any real income. If anything, I had quit my job as a software engineer, quit my job as a personal trainer. I was failing to build an income as a blogger and as a podcaster, like things probably looked bleak from the outside but that's when I was you know gaining all of this experience in all of these different places that you know just one year later when I was 28 the momentum really started to fucking hit and it hit fast think about it when I was 27 I started YouTube when I was 28 we had already had like half a million subscribers that's also when I started edge which now does multiple millions of dollars per year when I was 30 I hit 1 million subscribers on YouTube and since then the momentum has continued to build and increase exponentially y'all know I'm building a crazy house in Austin Texas we're building a villa here in Spain, I'm driving my dream car and I'm not flexing. The point is there was years and years of failure and pain. And then all of a sudden in a five year period, all the dominoes fell into place. All the dominoes fell into place. I don't know. I don't know if that's the right saying, but y'all know what I mean. And the wild thing is that all of this outward success that I have now, 
it means absolutely nothing to me compared to the grind, compared to those early days in Boston, challenging myself to get on camera, start filming YouTube videos, start approaching girls, going through the pain of, of no one leaving comments on my videos, of girls not paying me any attention, of living in this 400 square foot little studio apartment where I was not even saving money. I was just breaking even, you know, driving this bicycle around downtown Boston. Like those were the glory days that I'll never forget because those are the days that made me who I am. Without those days, without that struggle, I, I wouldn't be anyone. If you enjoy this video, I recommend you check out this one next. It's about seven things that destroy your masculine energy as a man. And if you're new to the channel, click down there to subscribe because I drop two new videos every single week and you don't wanna miss them. I'll talk to you in the next video. Stay beastly.